A lot of people are saying that Battle 27 is a meta contender, and yes, this gun deletes. I smoke the way my brain. I wanted to figure out just how good this gun actually is, and to do so, I had to test everything about it, including recoil patterns with different attachment combinations, as well as aiming idle sway, which is a huge problem with this gun that no one else seems to be talking about. And the most important thing, it's TTK at its fastest fire rate, which we have not known until now. So stick with me here as I walk you through all my testing and results. And with those results, we will create the best class setup for controller and mouse and key with this gun, as well as two 20 plus kill gameplays that I have for you guys using this gun myself. As always, if you like the content, be sure to give it a like, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content and want to see more from me in the future. Let's get right into it. <laughs> Let's look at the reason why the BAL even came into question. It got buffed in the most recent update, in the mid-season update. Its max damage range increased up to 31.75 meters, up originally from 26.67 meters. Now we can look at the TTK chart and see how this weapon compares to the current meta. So right now we're looking at the TTK chart for the current long range primary weapon meta. First of all, we're gonna get rid of the Polymont just because it's so slow and it's very annoying to use. And that's why not a lot of people are using it. Next, we are gonna just get rid of the STG because right now we're just looking at the bow. We will look at the STG compared to the bow later. Here. You can see on the graph, this is what we have. The bow at its max fire rate, which is in green, and then the bow at its normal fire rate where it goes from slow to fast after five bullets, it reaches its max. The issue with this is this bow at its max fire rate on here does not include the attachments. When you go to equip the bow after four shots, it says you can't equip attachments to it. So this graph is really not indicative of exactly what the TTK is. So I went in and tested myself to figure out what this TTK value is when the bow reaches its max fire rate with attachments so that you could see how much better the TTK is compared to the normal bow. Let's get in really quick how I tested that and then show you the values. So this is the data that I collected in the calculations I made to get the actual TTK values for the minimum fire rate of the bow, the maximum fire rate of the bow, and the normal TTK of the bow as well. I calculated that just because I wanted to make sure that I was doing my calculations correctly. I would also like to point out that for my maximum fire rate value that I calculated, I got 846 rounds per minute. Ace got 850 and Tony got 847. The only reason for this is because when you're doing this testing, you can do it at 60 frames per second, 240 frames per second. It varies and the differences are minuscule and really don't play a massive part at all in the end result TTK values. They are all within 10 milliseconds of one another for every single value. So it does not matter. Going from there to actually figure out the fire rate, this is what I did. So the first thing I had to do to get this actual fire rate was split up the delay between shots for the first five bullets. So what you see here here is this frame is exactly when the gun registers 60 bullets to 59 bullets. So that is the first bullet being fired. Then this is the exact frame where 58 bullets are left in the chamber. That's where the next bullet's fired. This time of this clip right here is the exact delay between bullets fired. It is six frames exactly is what it says. Now we come to the sheet here and it says one frame is 16.67 milliseconds or 0 0.01667 seconds. So to get that delay in between the first bullet shot and the second bullet, you take six and you multiply it by that value because there's six frames in between those two bullets. So that's how you get the delay in between those first five bullets. So after the first five bullets, you reach the max fire rate, which is what I tested 846 rounds per minute. That is 14.10 rounds per second, which is 0 0.071 seconds per shot fired. So it takes 0.071 seconds to fire a round in that maximum fire rate with those last 55 bullets. With this gun, you need 10 shots to kill at its first damage range. We have five bullets already. We have all the delays in between for the sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, and 10th bullet. All you have to do is take this time the amount of time it takes to fire one, one round in that maximum fire rate and then multiply it by five. And then when you add this to this, to this, to this, to this, you get your actual TTK value of 10 shots, which I calculated as 685. That is the normal TTK value 
that I calculated. For reference, this is what Tony calculated. He got 694. Within 10 milliseconds, it will be like that for the rest of the data. So that is how I calculated the TDKs up to 44.4 meters. From there, you have to also include bullet travel time to your target because it's hit scan up to 44.4 meters. Add that onto your TK, and this is where you get your real TTK. So that's how you calculate all of these values. That is how I got the minimum fire rate, maximum fire rate, and normal TTK values for the bow. So now we can get to the good part where we can compare the minimum fire rate TTK, max fire rate TTK, and normal TTK of the bow compared to the STG at every damage range. The blue value right here up to 38 meters is where the bow really exceeds at that max fire rate. And the way to get this is either you're shooting multiple opponents in a row or you start firing before you're even fully ads with your gun and you do feel like you're deleting people at times with this i also want to note that the stg has way easier recoil to handle it's straight vertical and it barely moves the bow has horizontal left to right motion and then back in the middle which is a lot harder to control especially if you're on mouse and key if you're on controller with aim assist it's not as bad but you do have to be an accurate player to pretty much succeed with this gun this is my recommendation based on all this information this data that i gathered if you are on controller and you have good accuracy, go with the bow, you're gonna love it. Just make sure that in this medium damage range here, you have to take into account that the bow might not be better than someone else that's trying to chow you just because it's harder to hit your shots, even though the bow has a faster fire rate and is technically more forgiving than the STG with the slower fire rate, but the STG is a lot easier to use. It's all around just very reliable and you'll get the same TTK all the time the battle it does have a weird kind of wonky recoil if you are on controller and you don't have good accuracy use the stg it's just not even worth it trying to go with the bow it's risk versus reward and if you don't hit your shots you're not going to get a good ttk anyways stg is very reliable go with the stg if you're on mouse and key this is a coin toss i enjoy using the bow but even me i have very good accuracy on mouse and key the stg is for me 100% the better option just because on mouse and key it's so much easier to control vertical recoil rather than horizontal so it's reliable easy to use and that's basically it that's my conclusion if you appreciate me gathering all this data and giving you the information that no one else has consider leaving a like comment subscribe to the channel i got two gameplays for you guys using this bow 27 and then after that i will go into the class setup and show you specifically how we're going to build this gun based off of this information that we gathered i put chapters on this video so if you don't want to watch the gameplays feel free to just skip right ahead go straight to the class setups thank you guys for watching as always if you made it this far you are the best and i love you also, fuck me, the sun is rising right now. Enjoy the gameplay. It's class out at the end. Peace. You're say that. I the fucking game one. knew you were going to yeah. say that. Oh, you purposely huh? lost that yeah. game, so I take off yeah. my clothes. You he fucking turned his mic off. He was like, oh no, I didn't get him. <laughs> Darn. Shut up, dude. Darn. Oh, I shot. Oh, God. Three here. I got your boy. I don't care. I got your boy, bitch. Land on me. Let me in the fucking window. Jesus Christ. Fucking goddamn KV inhibitor, dude. It's the worst gun ever. Wait, I can't fucking hit this guy. Jesus. Remaining operators from that squad. Is it a skill issue or was he hacking? No, I like it was like a glitch and possibly a skill issue. <laughs> You're so ass, brother! Hey brother! Hey brother, come chase me, you stupid bitch! Come chase me, you stupid bitch! <laughs> I said, bitch. There's a guy here. I can, I can smell him. I, I totally fucked that guy up. Enemies are dropping into the area. Watch oh, I wanted it to be a loady box. Deployed. How did yeah, I'm just built iffy right now. 
I'm built diffy. I don't know if you guys know what that means. It means built different. Bro, if fucking that guy's a bullet too. You're built diffy? I got five kills, bitch. I got seven. Sounds like we're built diffy. I'm gonna in this game. That's, oh, right, fuck. Fuck right here. Right here window. How the fuck did I get an assist on oh that? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, you fuck. You puss out. Oh. You I'm puss. Not, it's a fuck <laughs> off. Well, it starts fuck. flying and you just fucking. Fuck oh, off. that guy. Yeah, that's very sus of him. Can we get Woody? You guys are the opposite direction of loadout. I'm just saying that. Hey, I'm running for loading. Fuck it, I'm going for the free one. Same. Yeah, me too. Oh, wow. come on, let me jump faster than that, brother. Last, last one, there's a rotten egg. Oh, fuck. Omen. Omen, 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 Omen? I'll take them both. Oh I'll my take god. Both, bitch. Fuck both I'll of take you, both, dude. Bitch. Fuck you. Oh my god. Up here. Are you fucking kidding me, guys? Marking the rest of that squad on your attack map. First you take my fucking kill. Build Diffy. Build Diffy. First you take my oh, you're built Diffy when I fucking put all the I did all the oh my god, you're built fuck. Third party, third party from the buy. Third party from the buy. Oh fuck, we're so fucked. I'm so fucked. Smoke, He's smoke, so smoke, deep, smoke, 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 He's smoke, 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 smoke. Dude, they're fucking pushing from the bounty. Did I just get flashed? Pussy, another assist. Oh my god. Never doubted you. You got time for another bounty. Get it done. You know, I'm gonna start taking off a piece of clothing every time Gooch whines about it's assists. It's cause you guys just fucking rip kills off of me left and right, you bitch. Oh my god. Dude, Gooch. Oh my god. god. Fuck. Yellow Jesus. Mark. Yellow Mark. Yellow Mark. Hey, it's so, this game hates me. I think Yellow we Mark. hate you, bro. There's, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, they're there. There's fucking on a silver plate for you. That guy's name is Silver Plate. They're fucking dog. Piss. Uh. Oh, Gooch, not there to fucking back me up. Yeah. Shocker, shocker. But I'll get the kills, though. Yeah, fuck you guys. I'm not backing you up. I'm getting my fucking kills. Right, right, right here. Right, Mark. Oh, you're gonna fuck me, aren't you? You're gonna. Oh, oh, assist oh again. That guy got absolutely, hey, absolutely destroyed. I have 31k. What do I buy? What do I buy? What do I buy? Here's advance. Help yourself to another bounty. Lost your chance on that one. Target is down. You still got time on the clock. How about another objective? Dude, there. Oh my god, uh, here's, I have 30k. Here's a, uh, here's a deployable or fucking whatever you oh, call it. Oh my specialist. Thank you very much. Oh my god. I see. I just. This is what I do. I spend all my money on the team. And what do anybody, you do? Anybody you got a, a anybody got a, uh, you throwing fucking knife? fag. What? No, what? don't give him a throwing knife. Don't give him a throwing knife. He I don't even have one. And you're not getting what? shit I'm sorry. from me. I found one on the ground, so fuck you guys. <laughs> you, you fuck you. Dude, did you guys. I have 30k. What do you want from me? I did too. And I, I didn't spend it on the specialist. I well, should have. <laughs> Maybe I should have. Don't ever comment on me being selfish. You are the most selfish person in the world. This guy takes a zip, he's my kill. I'm just throwing that out there, okay? You're lucky. What'd you say? I said if you got on that zip, he was mine. 
Shut the fuck up! Counter UAV is returning to base. I have something in my teeth, dude. Guys to the right. Enemy soldier incoming. Get absolutely deleted. Mark remaining operating on that squad. Oh my god! Fire sale is active. Buy station prices are adjusted. Like I put a whole fucking clip into that guy. Get to him first to cash out. Yeah, that's it. There he goes, that's it. Move to the safe zone. Someone's a sniper. Yeah, he's not gonna hit you. Oh! There's multiple. Ah, fire sale's done. Prices are back to normal. Enemies are dropping into the area. I feel like them apples, pussy. Another one flying in? Another one landing. And one sniping still. I'm going down. We need to kill this sniper now. Can we just, let's just go over there and yeah, fuck I'm him up in this squad. Fuck this, guy. fuck this guy. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? He's one's on the, the roof. One's on the roof. I'm shocked. Two on him. the roof. <laughs> and then one in yellow mark. He's trying to RPG me. Idiot. Fucking dumbass. Yellow mark, yellow mark, you trade? Uh, I think he went out. There's still one guy in this building uh, now. Uh. Enemy soldier incoming. I can't fucking stand it, man. I can't. Three in there. Three in there. Three in there. Oh, man, there's three in there. Yep, yep, yep. I didn't see it coming. Are they up in the tower? I don't know. Where's this fucking guy? Finally! Finally! I get the fucking kill. Finally! Woohoo! Uh, take- or uh, Omen, you have money, you have money, you have money. Buy UAV, stat. Please. Got it, I got it. I got no- oh yeah. They're coming towards us. Yep. No! They're right here. Of course, that leads to a fucking guy who's just stationary. Doesn't fucking move. Right here. Full team, right here, right here. I can't fucking mark him. In the smoke, in the smoke. Let's push these guys. You good? Oh, right here, right here. Oh, I need, I need you. Yeah, I'm holding this car. I'm holding this car. Oh, they're pushing on him. Yeah, yeah. Got him. Last yeah, they, team, last team. Across the way. Last team, last team, last team. Bridge, bridge. I'm gonna mortar. I'm gonna buy a mortar here. Precisioning. Only four left. Precisioning. Two dead, two dead. Last one, last one, last one, last one, last one. He's on me. Yep, yep, yep. Oh my god, I fell down. Let's go. Let's go, boys. Throw a bullet my way, please. Throw just one. 
I don't please give me I assist. Really please give me assist. Please give me assist. Please give me assist. Please give me assist. Yes. 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 <laughs> what was that? You got more assist than me. <laughs> Just means that I got more kills. Let's get back to work. So this is the class setup for the BAL-27. The first thing we're going to do is equip the Quartermaster Suppressor, and I tested every single attachment alone that you can use on this gun to mitigate recoil, and by far the Quartermaster Suppressor is the best one to use. So this is a go-to attachment. It has to be on here. Use the Quartermaster Suppressor. Second attachment, you can either use a Bruin Heavy Support Grip, or for barrel, you can use the Crown Barrel. The Crown Barrel gives you 20% to your effective damage range, 20% to your minimum damage range, and 11% to your bullet velocity. The bullet velocity stat is not that big of a deal because it goes from 800 to 884, but the damage range boost with this is pretty significant. So it goes from 31 meters to 38 meters and 61 meters to 73 meters. But that being said, if you can't hit your shots, the damage range is not gonna matter in the first place. And it's honestly hard to mitigate this recoil on this thing, especially when it does that little jab to the right and then goes back up. So I think that equipping the Bruin Heavy Support Grip is more beneficial so you can actually hit your shots with this thing. The Bruin Heavy Support Grip also coupled with the Ardent Tack Stock, which gets rid of pretty much all the visual, visual recoil on this gun. This is a go-to detachment. You could also try out the Sandbar Heavy Stock. It does slightly less help to your visual recoil control, but it also does help a lot with firing aiming stability and aiming idle sway. So aiming idle sway with this gun, as you can see right here, is a slight issue. When you're using this gun, this is gonna be personal preference. If you have aim assist, it might not be an issue for you. I would just go with the Ardent Tax Stock so you can see where you're aiming and shooting, but it's all up to personal preference. Then we're putting on the biggest mag, the 60 round mag. This gun has a very, very fast fire rate, so we need to have the biggest mag. And for the optic, I am using an optic because this one helps with firing aiming stability and I don't think that the iron sights zoom in far enough, especially the fact that I love having a dot sight and this with the firing aiming stability, I think it's way more accurate using this. I've even used it, as you saw from the gameplay, with the Corio Eagle's Eye 2.5 times and it's pretty fun to use with that too, honestly. I think this gun needs a little bit of zoom so you know how to mitigate that recoil and you can actually see what you're shooting at rather than just hoping and guessing that you are aimed on your opponent. If your opponent's moving, it kind of gets a little bit annoying to track, especially with that recoil moving left and right. So this gun takes a little bit of skill to use. And if you do have a little bit of skill with your aiming and accuracy using this gun, you will be very successful. <laughs> it absolutely deletes people. So this gun is 100% in the meta right now. The Pokemon is just way too slow. The STG is reliable and has a very easy recoil to mitigate. That's just the goaded thing about it. This will give you a way faster TTK if you can hit your shots. So this is more of a gun, I will say, for people that aren't beginners, more advanced players in the game will succeed and do very well with this gun. If you're not finding very much success with it and you're using the barrel, the crown barrel, take it off and put on the Bruin Heavy Support Grip. And then after that, if you aren't having success with the Ardent Tack Stock, try out the Sandbar Heavy Stock. So that is how we're gonna build this gun. That is the best way to build this gun. I have many gameplays that I had to choose from to put in this video using this gun. So many Heiko gameplays that <laughs> I just didn't know which ones to put in because I, did, I didn't know which ones were better than the other ones. But either way, that just goes to show how you can really dominate with this thing. It's not very forgiving. You do have to hit your shots with it. If you do, you will do very well. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching as always, and I will see you in the next one. Go dominate.